What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host JV and 2024 is upon us. We got our Geek Crate just in time. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this cracked open, um, see what kind of stuff we got. Um, I'm surprised it got here before the new year. Um, kind of excited about that. So yeah, last unboxing in 2023. So hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully Santa brought us something nice. Um, speaking of Christmas, just passed. Hope you all had a good one and uh, enjoyed that. And um, yeah, hope you all have a great 2024. Anyway, on to the unboxing. So this is Geek Crate. Um, if you're not too familiar with that, it is a UK based company. Um, actually, it's in Hounslow, Hounslow, England. And so, a little town there. And it's from the Heathrow estate. So, thank you, Heathrows. I don't know why Heathrows just sounds like a backwoods hillbilly family. The Heathrows. You hear about them Heathrows? Some crazy people, I tell you. I, I don't know why they talk like that. Anyway, back to this. Uh, Geek Crate, it's, uh, this is the Smuggler's Crate. Smuggler's Crate. This is the Jedi Master Crate. They do have a Padawan, a Jedi Knight, and then Jedi Master. Each has its own little tier level, their own pricing. This one, it's about $46, I think, when you start. And then after that, it goes up to $52, plus $6 for shipping. So that's not too bad, considering it comes from England all the way to the U.S. $6, we got it. Um, the Jedi Master Box does come between, does have, contain, for that, between 8 to 12 items, and a premium figure. So, I'm kind of excited to find out what it's all about. Got my knife. Let's crack it open. Find out what's going on. Let's see what we got in here. Green confetti. Always, always a joy to get. Alright, first item off the bat. It's a, uh... It's a little backpack knapsack of Grogu. A little, a little outline. A little, uh, little knapsack. Cinch it up. Throw it on your back. These are great when you're going to like the festivals and stuff. Like ACL here in Texas in Austin. Uh, go to that quite often. This would be good to throw stuff in. They do search you before you go in, so keep that in mind. Anyway, um, so item number one. Not too bad. Good way to start. We have Lego figure and Lego figure. And just by the looks of it, I'm seeing a festive. You know what? I'm going to wait till the end. I'm going to put this together for you at the end. So, there's two of them. So, keep that in mind. So, that's, well, that's three items right there, right? I think they count that as two. So, it's three items right there. Next up. Oh, wow. It's a porcelain mug, or the original Stormtrooper. In 1976, Andrew Ainsworth of Shepperton Design Studios created the Stormtrooper helmet and armor for the first episode. These products are inspired by the molds that Andrew created, true to the original. So that is, that's pretty awesome right there. Let me see if I can get you. There you go. So a porcelain mug, original guy right there. Stormtrooper, you know what? I'm gonna open this guy because honestly, I'm gonna use this. Morning coffee is very important, and you know what? You can always use a, another mug, and it's a festive one too. Look at that Stormtrooper with a Santa cap on. That's a proper size mug too. You know, probably 16 ounces. There you go. That's killer. I'm, I'm digging that. All right. So uh, go ahead and put that up and focus, please. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Next up, I got some prints here. Some little lithograph prints. First one, Boba Fett. Little Boba Boy. Or Boba Boy. Does he drink Boba tea? I don't know. <laughs> Stupid joke. Anyway, uh, not bad. And then we got our old buddy, R2. Iconic, as always. So that's what, two, um, three, four, five, six with these. Like I said, we'll get to that later. These are actually cool prints. I will definitely put those in the back here somewhere. Uh, next up, 
starting small again. Um, we have a ruler, Star Wars ruler, and it has a X-wing, Empire, Rebel, Tie Fighter symbols on the back. But it is just a standard ruler. Only goes up to blah, 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 15 centimeters. Oh, oh, pfft, idiot! I was like, wait, what? It retracts out. That's fucking cool. Check that out. Is it focusing? Good. I hope so. So yeah, you get your whole foot right there in this awesome fold-up Star Wars uh, ruler. So yeah, there we go. All good. I'm sorry for the camera not focusing. I need a new camera. I know this. Just haven't spent the money on it yet. Anyway, another cool item right there. Let's see here. Gonna knock these little guys out. Real quick, they're just a couple stickers. Got a Darth Vader Star Wars Rogue One sticker. Got a Kylo Ren, little crybaby Ren. And uh, you got Star Wars Dark Side Vader as well. So I'll start off, start off with this little sticker right here. Come on, buddy. There we go, kinda. It's trying to do something else. Sorry. Anyway, there we go. There's one. And then we get the the, the deuce right here's another one not bad and then last is little Kylo Ren so hopefully I can get that focused for you there you go it's just Kylo red and black with this little lightsaber with the hilt so that hilt you can just right at the corners right because it seems the sabers only come out so far I'm pretty sure there's been discussing about this going down the hilt or going down the saber it was your fighting him and then you just down the hill because that little plastic gap or metal gap whatever the fuck that is it's material that's not saber so I don't know things to think about and next up okay so this is cool um, Zorb Zorb Bliss bobblehead it's a bobblehead I love getting bobbleheads trying to figure out where this character is from crap um, Solo? I think in this this chick is from Solo. Uh, let me know in the comments. Bobblehead. Zorb Lisk. Solo was a great movie. Very underrated, I think. Um, doesn't get the credit that it, it really should get. It's a lot better than people than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was some be some bullshit, but I was wrong. And I, yeah, I think this is a uh, one of his love interests, or she was infatuated with him, or something like that. Anyway. It's a bobblehead. I fucking love bobbleheads. Get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, let's see here. There you go. Rockin'! I'm a bobblehead! Mm, mm. Alright, anyway. That's awesome. That's a that's another good one right there. Well, this is a great box so far. You know, decent, decent items. You know, I've done Loot Crate, I've done Loot Fright, I've done Geek Crate. Most of them are underwhelming. They really don't give you the value that uh, you think you should get in some of those boxes. Very hit or miss. This one's not bad. So far, they've been pretty decent too. I mean, considering the price value. Obviously, it goes up. The quality of things go up. Anyway, um, so what was that? One... Two with the stickers, the mug is three, four with the ruler, five, six, seven with these. Uh, and last, I'm going to go ahead and check this out. This is Bush Leia. So this is when Leia in Return of the Jedi, when she goes into... Um, wow. I'm forgetting his... I'm, I'm blanking right now. Um, can't believe it. I'm blanking right now. Job of the Hut. Holy shit. Brain fart. Fuck. Uh, Boba. Boba. Jabba. Mm. Jabba. She goes in and she's dressed up as a bounty hunter. And, uh, she's got that crazy voice. Anyway, this is a huge pin. It's an enamel pin. Bushalea Star Wars 15. It's a pop pin. And, um,. So here's the pop pin for you. I think it's huge. And I'll go ahead and take it out. Um, 
with its packaging. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. But anyway, on the back, you can also get Lando Calrissian when he's in his disguise. Uh, at Leia. You can also get Jabba the Hutt or Han Solo in Carbonite. That would have been a cool one too. But you know what? Leia Organa, I uh, love her. She's everyone, everyone fucking loves Leia. Come on, back at her right here. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open up for you. Probably shouldn't, but you know, I dropped it. I picked it up. Here we go. Go and open this bad boy up real quick. Very cool pin. This is why we get this stuff, right? Sometimes you want to keep it in the case, other times, you know what, screw it. What's the point? You can't take it with you after you die. You might as well get it represented and, uh, and shown off to people. That is a hefty, hefty pin. Wow. Okay. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. Look at that. It's got some weight to it. Uh, it's a great character. Um, Leia infiltrating uh, Jabba's palace, you know, gonna go ahead and try to save him. Luke as well, you know, Luke shows up before her and gets thrown into the pit with a sarlacc and you know what happens after that. So anyway, um, okay, last but not least, the two figures. Let's go ahead and put them together. Alright, here we go. So, we have none other than the iconic, iconic, iconic duo of R2 and C3PO. So, it's funny, so I guess for, you know, for Christmas, uh, festive times, you got a little R2 here wearing his ugly sweater of uh, C3PO. Let's go ahead and show you that. Come on, if you will. Por favor. Gracias. So, that's him wearing his little... That's awesome. And then we have C-3PO also wearing an ugly sweater uh, of R2. There you go. Bam. So we got two pretty awesome uh, Lego figures right here. Like I said, iconic duo. Just like Chris Farley and David Spade, you know. Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. There's just these iconic duos that just happen throughout life. Cinema. And they are one of them. Um, Alright, so to recount two awesome Lego figures, that's going to count as one and two. Stickers three, the bobblehead of Bliss something. Alexa Bliss? No. Azor Bliss. It'd be nice to have a little Alexa Bliss bobblehead. Anyway, uh, that's what, four, five is the pin, six, the mug, seven, the bag of little Grogu, eight, we've got the, uh, the Star Wars ruler that extends out to a full foot, yeah, pretty awesome, and then, uh, dropped it. And then the lift the, the grass was at seven, eight, nine. We got about I think nine items if I'm correct, right here, including these two two guys. So nine. I don't think we're counting the confetti. So I'm going to leave that out. So all in all, I think it's a pretty killer box. Worth the money? I think so. Uh, I would recommend them. I would check them out. You know, they also have a standard uh, Geek Crate box, just like you would get and find a Geek Fuel or a Loot Crate, whatever. So just a compilation of everything thrown into one box. They have an anime box. They have a, a Harry Potter box. They have a Marvel box. And each one has its own tier level. So if you don't want to spend too much money, they have you can pick the smaller. If you want to go all out and get the master boxes, do that as well. I recommend it. This is the Jedi Master Box. And uh, yeah, it's got a few items I'm actually going to use. And I'm pretty impressed that I got, honestly. Um, so yeah, do what you want. But I'm recommending it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. 2024 is upon us, like I said. I hope you have a great one, a blessed one. Stay safe tonight. It's New Year's Eve. And, uh, yeah, just stay safe. Blessings to you and your family. And until the next one, peace!